Nazis of Anasir with the 1-0 map advantage. Q2 coming from the upper bracket. Astralis quite the crawl through the lower bracket. They've beheaded many a scalp. Most prized possession being the 2-0 versus Heroic yesterday. GG.bet believes Na'Vi have got this in the bag. And it does seem like we're heading ramp to get this pistol started. Okay, well, we know the statistics. We've seen what Symbol can do this time with the CZ, but ramp control is garnered. However, we still look at Na'Vi as the omni-relevant team who can seem to apply themselves to every scenario. Perfecto gonna get the information, but loses life for it. And now, Flamey has to do a lot more work. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh this is shaky. One's fine. Oh, okay, 3v3 now. You still have Simple in this and Electronic as well. Both armored up. One with the CZ, of course, is Boomich. Sadly, only with that USP. Going to have to be a little bit more careful with his life. Gets awkward without the bomb plant. The CTs have the angles they need, so... Astralis are the ones that have to go hunting, and it's Magisk. Tries his luck against Electronic, meets the P2K. They've got to find a kill here, but it feels like Simple's just closing in. You're pre-working this way around. The timing's everything. Symbol just came out of the vents oh. quietly, oh. too. Yeah, you're right. There's a gap here. Oh, tip of the head of Glaive spotted. That's drawn electronics attention even further. Should be the flank from Dupree. Clear it. <gasps> Molly stops him from clearing the close corner. It still should be a Dupree frag, and it is. Finds himself his second. You and know now where Symbol is now. Yeah, long range as well with the CZ's no fun. Oh, oh. oh this is horrible to make land, but Boomich is still around here. Glaive the bomb, though. waiting for Dupree to help him out here, and if he crosses at the wrong time, Boomich is going to see... Oh, wow, they've isolated Simple. It's just Boomich now. Tries to back oh, away, oh, but he can't alleviate that pressure. Dupree around. keeping it up. Four kills for him. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see if you're an Astralis fan. Getting Dupree out of the gates early and sprinting is a very good sign to see, considering he's been one of their top performers throughout the season. Now, going into uh, round number two here, Na'Vi so far throughout the season on Nuke have only, uh, well, actually, there's not have only, they haven't been able to get a single two round two break. That means they can't win the four spies after losing the pistol. They will fully invest right here, the all in. Let's see if they're able to change that statistic right now. Fast from Magisk and Glaive. In fact, the four man squad catching a bit of flack on the cross, but no one's gone down. Electronic, speaking of going down, is right by the deep smoke. No one's going to take a risk like that, especially considering knowing they have the weapon advantage. Astralis don't need to force the issue. Molly for the stairs. That's Glaive's responsibility. Electronic playing further back. I just has one too. Astralis have a 100% conversion rate on these rounds on Nuke so far this season on the T side. We want to see if we could stop those pistols getting very Ooh, evasive. Same spot as yeah, last time. Maybe. Same spot. Maybe same killer too. Dupree's the one who's going to be clearing through this. Last time the Molotov didn't quite clear it out. Not sure if they're going to commit one to this or simply clear themselves. But a CZ can always do damage no matter the scenario. Dupree's going to clear, but he does look for it very well considered. Still a deagle with Flamey and still plenty of presence from the CTs. Oh, it's a hard shot to hit. Very impressive stuff from Flamey. Perfecto did find one too. I'm afraid these feel like Constellation Franks. Seems in terms of pursuit of victory, this one doesn't look particularly favorable no hp though and oh even lower for simple after he catches that nade single spray from the ump device so close a random wall bang from simple certainly not out of the uh, question but it does seem like they're heading to preserve what little they have it is armor pistols and a mag 10. i believe those stat lines stay true yet again so Same wait you're telling happening. me navi have forced by every time when they lose the pistol and have lose it every time yeah they haven't on their ct side have a single uh, round That's two mad. break so far and that is over a, a total of seven maps of nuke played this season of pro league what do Astralis do in the same situation? Are they the ones that go for just Deagles and no Kev? No, they'd be, I think, for me, Astralis seem like they go for the four spies depending on their type of opponent. If it's somebody who they think individually they're much better than, you'll see them go for the all-ins. But if it's somebody who they you know, have a lot of respect for, or the game plan is to get out rifles earlier, then they won't go for it. it it's hard to really put my finger on the approach Right, it's, for more, it's more calculated to Yeah, summarize. it's like first Maus, they were going for four spies that they hadn't been going for against other teams throughout the tournament. Maybe they thought that they could, you know, really unravel Maus because they're a newer roster. They're quite snowball. And they really heavy. didn't want to lose to Carrigan. That's true. <laughs> and uh, they're able to avoid that one. They had lost to Maus Sports in two consecutive Pro League finals, seasons 10 and 11 back to back, able to get that off their back yesterday. Smokes are out. Aggressive from the lave does manage to get across just as the smokes bloom and he's been heard electronic will hear that oh flamey that's sketchy 
losing his life. Smoke does nothing. Glaive's already down there, already <laughs> really is just tightening the thumb screws. It's only simple with a deagle, and he's not going to do too much. He does well to find a frag. I thought he was done for. That's another subtle change as well. When they've been running these rounds over the last couple of games that we've watched, it's actually been Magus doing Glaive's role. I'm not sure if it's because of the AKs. They could have just swapped guns on over, but Glaive is doing it this time round. I'm going to be curious to see if any other little tweaks like that are in play here. As Glaive will eventually mop one up, but Boomich has done some damage. This is getting a little bit dicey. He kills another here. Oh, just oh the timing. About, just about. I'm not going to get it. So that's the 3 0. Do you think this would be as intense as our new game last night? I don't know, man. If one of us is tagged up as Cloud9 Henry G, I think we're going to get a Can tough game. stop? I you just know. need him to just change his name to something that nobody will know. I just have mine as empty. No one knows it's me. No, precisely. But the as problem is, as, as soon as, as, as you see one, they go into all our uh -huh, profiles. Uh -huh. Like, oh, machine, I love your desk hosting at Worlds. It's yeah. like, oh. oh well, they're saying nice more. things. Probably. Mm. I have people muted at all times. The problem is, is as soon I, as I they said have they that said conversation, nice as soon as they have that conversation, that's when they start playing like it is, well, a grand final. winter, 2005. Yeah. All right, well, the Org is out early here for Simple, and it's one of those weapons we've been noting on him. The lace a fair approach. Device has gone completely lone wolf here. So rogue, he's sitting in the open. I'm surprised. Electronic, he could have this kill any time he wanted, but has remained passive throughout. Device seems to know it. The tendencies suggest he can hold this line, and imagine if Simple walks into it. Does descend. Looking for some support with Electronic. We know this duo work well together. Smoke deployed now towards that main cross, and then... Another drop to lock off the lockers. They want Simple to fight Device. That's what all of this utility is trying to encourage him to do, but he remains passive. And there's Electronic. Bides his time, and now they can strike. That's perfect. Oh, attention drawn everywhere. The yard hold is phenomenal from Na'Vi. And Astralis, they fall flat, floppy, flaccid. No fun for anyone. It's so deliberate in play as well, isn't it? Everything Na'Vi do is just so well considered. And now the last two are left to search for whatever they can, but I don't think you're going to find many good answers for this. I just love that little three-pronged poke that went on. Electronic swings, Boomich swings, simple fighting from ladder base. What are you meant to do? Once you're that far committed in yard, no. that's no man's land. You don't want to be finding yourself in those positions. And Astralis, they're left with not too many choices. Saving feels like the right one, but Esetag upgrading away from the UMP onto... Either the device's orb or one of those fallen AKs would be ideal. Having a little bit of utility now. That will get him across to the red box. Boomich has a good idea, but he gets dinged on up. Esetag even gets a kill for his trouble. Quite the shot. He should push forward and risk this. The worst case, he dies after the time, and that will be a huge problem. Okay. Dying in general, not so much, as the loss bonus will come on through. Oh, Dupree, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Ooh. Ooh. I, I don't uh, like after time with simple. That's that's not a, a mixture you love to see for any that, team. That's a statement. If, even if it's just to Sir Dupree himself, just saying I took the fight after time against Na'Vi. Yep. Definitely enough just to keep his mojo flowing, and you definitely need that. He's got seven frags, 140 average damage per round. He's been starting nuke off strong. Don't forget his pistol round 4K. That probably com did contribute largely to his early lead. But we're into another one. This one I consider a full buy. Boomich certainly on the MP9. What's Glaive up to? He's walked straight through into Perfecto oh, spray. Oh, and the bomb's no. been delivered. Express delivery straight to the site. Incredibly generous, isn't it? Thank you ever so much. And now, look at the utility that's left with the CTs. They did do the first round, sure. But now, OK, we've got a lot of smokes. We've got everyone in the right place. And the T's have nothing. Now, these mid rounds from Astralis, it always feels like they just try to limp out with jewels. And the fights in a lot of those scenarios don't seem to fall in their favor. So they will need to take some territory. They will need to win a fight, as Simple's position was given on up there. But over towards ramp is where we see the crawl from Esetag and Dupree. Over towards ladder base, there will be a fight for them. Flamey playing on a bit of an off angle here. Hard to clear, but it is a left eye for Flamey. One. One traded. Dupree now a threat, and a very big one. Electronic and Perfecto are distracted with his presence. He's stepping around. Lots of hunting being done. Electronic has managed to relieve that pressure, though, and so Astralis went from seizing control to losing once again. 
Simple's calling lobby clear. Ramp and T-Spawn are the options as they head back there to save. Another save coming in. So Na'Vi, once the, bo the bomb was dropped on the back of Glaive and towards the top site, they really turtled up. You could see how reserved Flamey was playing. A and we say turtling up because on Nuke, you can kind of play within the shell of the map. You can tuck into those bomb sites and force the T's really into your domain. And there, when you know the bomb's down, when you know the choke points become smaller and smaller and the utility is not fantastic, you can really just siphon down that clock and win yourself some little dirty jewels as Flamey managed to take one down over towards that ramp position. Sucked any life out of Astralis and it will be the second round on the board for Na'Vi. So in the same, same way that Overpass has that truck that parked, you know, at T-Spawn, is that the T-arrival vehicle in T-Spawn as well, Rush? Yeah, but they've actually gone through the gate there, Alex. Uh, excuse me, we have a lore expert. Yeah, Rush is the lore expert. We discussed this one already, Stop. didn't we? Alex may not have been here. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Oh, Rush isn't even giving you a response. That's what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, so basically they all sit on the back here. They have to hold on tight. Or they else jump they fall the fence? Off. Uh, a little bit. A I think yeah, you mantled over it. You did a parkour, a little cat pass. They into can get through there. Precision. <laughs> Round six. Okay, well, the, the force buy from Astralis, they've invested everything they had. They could only buy one more AK, but Tech Nines for Glaive and Estatag. They're going with the bent elbow of smokes to get across, and all four will go down secret. They've even got the vent drop as well. Boomish is in trouble. He is. He's going to get shot on the booty. It's device that finds him, though. Puts the S attack AK into play. Flamey could get caught in transition here. They're so fast. Oh, but he finds the first. It was S attack well ahead of the pack. Device with his AK does do well with Magisk in kind. And now Simple and Org should be the good weapon for the job. A sniper rifle hybrid for the sniper Which rifle stays. hybrid. Nade brings him down to 46. Problems now. Retake and limited util. The kill comes in quickly, though. I'd be petrified. Both of the T's then tried to take a quick look towards that ramp, but Simple builds in towards this step by step, getting closer to those T's, and Magic seems unawares. Unchecked on, he gets his head taken off, but they know there's another. They've got to be cognizant of Dupree. He's going to isolate one, dips back in. Device still gets room to play. Electronic turns it, he stays alive, but he's open to that door. Yeah, they've got really nice after plant positions now. There's just no time. Molly will force the fight on Dupree, but Window should hold the defuse. Perfecto's on it. They've oh my it. god, they've done it. Just by the skin of their teeth. Navi, retake. Electronic and Perfecto are going to be real high energy after that one. I just want to put a little bit of a note on Perfecto there. He stayed above the vent the entire time. He wasn't actually dropping down. He was waiting for contact initially from that of Simple and Electronic. And Simple's opening kill, that was everything. Because once they had side control, they were able to isolate with that utility and pick up the Where last did that smoke come kills. from? Uh, looks like it went off the back electronic of Electronic might have there. whopped it. Okay, yeah, sure. Whoever was diffusing. Whoever wasn't diffusing. That would be Electronic. Uh, there you go. Okay. Let's get into it. Seems like we really have got a high-flying CT side after the initial P3 from Astralis. That's attack's feeling Going. frisky, and that's a dead electronic. Oof. Big start. Another, and we're really talking here. But Perfecto and Boomich are not interested. Glaive's got lower. the bomb down. That should mean a plant. Oh, no, oh dear. This gets awkward real fast. A lower plant, potential retake, could get real sketchy. Glaive's even considering events rotation. Simple, Perfecto and Boomich. They cannot afford to let this round slip away. Captivating decisions to be made. Go back up, maybe call the bluff, but Simple's there. Stick towards lower, okay, maybe we can still get this going. They have, they've decided to stick to lower. Glaive, patrolling the vents, he didn't want to leave. That Tech Nine's still in play there. Now the other two, we know where Simple is. Boomich and Perfecto are the unknown quantities. Now they're gonna hear the ladder. They've got a good idea. Commitment from Glaive, but he loses a lot of life. 32 HP, spammed away on, oh, overwhelmed. Simple. Powerful play, but it's Magisk in a 1v3. Bomb's planted, he can catch the cross, but the trades feel so simple. Oh. That's one. No second. We'd already seen him do good work on Nuke before with the Deagle down by secret. Roll your mind back, but this time not to be. Another defuse, but another bomb plant. One of the keys there again is simple above the vent, dropping the two flashes, but he's also making ladder noise and baiting that attention so they can't set up for any other crossfires. That allowed Boomich to come down through the secret position. Find a frag in the back lines and, well, around it. Shouldn't have been that dicey. Definitely became so. Look at simple bouncing his head off. Getting a little bit of a charge forward there and then finishing things off on towards Magus with the Diffuse. Four to three now in favor of Na'Vi. Full buy comes on out. Simple will be going into the AWP. No big green on the side of things for Device. They'll just be rocking those five AK-47s. And that smoke approach with the bent elbow towards Yard did get them down secret before. This time it looks like they're going for the same thing. He's got down again. Boomich wants to chase. He's thinking about it. Knows it's a risk. Thinking better now. Simple is the low, well, the lower level player. 
can't believe that sounds as wrong as it does, but makes sense. He's descended and rotated into the Astralis route. Four players. <sighs> Jesus, what? This is, this is wild. Uh, he's playing in between two positions right now. I know he's good, but that would be magnificent. He can't scope. Doesn't need to. Quick flick. Quick scope. Dropping down is Glaive. Okay, now we're talking. Flamey's kept it in favor of Na'Vi. Bomb to keep track of that is on the left side of Flamey's screen with Esa tagged across. They may need utility, and there's flashbangs available, but they've gone away with it. Oh, they're feeling parched what? in these post plants. How? Wild. The electronic. Yeah, Esa tag's going to die for this. And now Dupree can't get that bomb down. He needs another kill to come in. That'll be delivered by Magus, but he's in no man's land. Committed and can't back away, but doesn't. It's a 2v2 now, a nade and a couple of flashes. Smoke as well, but they have to stay averted from the, ga the gaze of Na'Vi. Flame is playing forward. Dupree's still stuck here. He Dupree's can't back out yet. What a real shot here, though. He was ready, oh. and he's got another. This is a two versus four. Now all on to Perfecto to stop. He can't. Dupree with a triple. And it's Magisk and Dupree with a two versus four against the odds to put Astralis' fourth and first in five rounds. That is an integral component found for Astralis to make this T-side count. Now we are going into a bit of a technical timeout here. Just have a couple of issues for the players that we need to fix before we can get this one back underway. Uh, some key notes, I suppose, from the early stages of this is how Na'Vi are not playing forward towards T-Red and fighting for this yard control like I prefaced within the pregame. They're more than happy to play the rotation and while well, they're losing vent control and they're losing yard control and the cross to secret within the very early stages here. So I wouldn't be surprised as once Na'Vi get the guns back out, which I'm not sure we'll see happening mm -hmm. in round number nine, if they don't change the pace and go a little bit more aggressively. Who normally does that? Electronic. He pushes yeah. up towards the red box and simple normally helps oversee. Mm. Now, some of the problems that you, you might be able to think of in that type of a play is it's an all-in. So on the CT side, if you push up close and you lose the jewels and you find yourself in number disadvantage, well, the T's are potentially going to be able to run away with those scenarios. We can see Blade just here on the screen. In a dream scenario, Chad, yeah. uh, would you be wearing socks or barefoot while gaming? Um, I, I, for me, it would be barefoot because it should be about 30 degrees outside. That's true. So, so yep. ideal circumstances, you got the bare feet out. But uh, overseas now, I would say, oh, maybe I don't know. We, I'm not huge on socks. Maybe we make some gaming socks. What do you think, Lauren? I was thinking perhaps we, we, we there's, there's use my basement dweller platform. We'll okay. start yeah. My first release is uh, gaming, gaming ergonomic. Ergonom for gamers, by gamers. I love that branding. Yeah. yeah. Never been done before. By gamers, for gamers. Love that. Basically, what I'm trying to say is gamers buy, buy it. Buy it. You're if you're a gamer. Because that's an, hour, a a, an identity tag Buy that people it. militantly defend for some reason. <laughs> um, You're not a gamer because you've never played Breath of the Wild. It's like, yeah, man, sure. Come on now. All right, okay. I just, <sighs> just hit my knee on the desk. Uh, oh. Welcome to my universe. I it don't it know sucks, do doesn't that. it? How many bruises do you have? I have like... miscellaneous bumps and bruises throughout I, my yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine just a thigh. I was the kid that'd come home from school and they'd be like, "How?" and I'd okay. go, "I have no idea." <laughs> well, I think uh, we were role playing. One of us was a Zulu warrior. I think I got thrown to the floor. Oh dear, mm, makes yeah. sense. We makes did a lot sense. of role playing in my playground. I wasn't the most popular kid, believe it or not. <laughs> but I did make a good Zulu I'm warrior. A Zulu warrior. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Aww. You know, everyone else is playing Beyblades on upturned bin lids, and I'm yeah, sitting. Yeah, but there. I mean. Role playing. They smell like garbage, and you were a Zulu warrior. I was so. a Zulu warrior, and I had Medical. a yeah, exactly. Sometimes we'd even put our PE kit on so I, that we I could mean, roll around. Did you guys ever get Beyblades? Or I was into the Beyblades. I was a bit too thing, old yeah. for them to be in the schoolyard. I think I didn't. I, so no, I was gonna say I was your age, so I'm actually older than you. So the fact that yeah. you said you were too old makes me feel like I didn't it grow up. Let it well. rip. Yeah. I saw them. Oh, that was bad branding. Now I'm thinking about it. Let it rip. <laughs> which which one? <laughs> that That's it. Beyblades. Let it rip. <laughs> Come on, the context now. is all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There should just be a little montage of them letting it rip and then you just add in a couple of sound effects. That's. Uh, I just want to let everyone know again that uh, we are waiting for one player to rejoin just through the couple of issues. So yeah. we'll continue. I'm sure to, people uh, are smart enough now. They're like, oh, there's probably those casters pausing the game to have a chat, right? <laughs> just, to, just to actually add even more context, I received word in my ear. It's uh, we're waiting on one member of Na'Vi cool. and just fixing over his packet loss. So it's obviously something that's a high priority. You can't be playing when you can't send those packets efficiently. We know what that feels like in Malta, don't we, Alex? But I tell you now, oh, God, I tried to play with... video games with Henry on the Malta internet last so night. Yeah. Absolute rubbish. Disaster. Yeah, and I, I, I've been trying to, to troubleshoot the problem, um, and the best I can get is, yes, Chad, we're aware of the problem. Um, right. So I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Mm. 
User who's disconnected from your channel. Oh, it's yeah. so upsetting. But that's what I was having to me. The one in the oh. Hey, Rush, you want to tell them how bad the internet stuff was for our little two and a half month stint when I was locked away? Oh, we were playing like Danger Zone every day, yeah. and I would just hear Chad going, I'm like, y y yep. all <laughs> the <laughs> time, all the time. It was so annoying. Like, Wait, we're what, just what about to bump. What do you sound like bump. again, Rush? Guys, I'm like, uh, Nice. That was quite uh, good. He's good at that. He, he doesn't even have his button. He does that on Teams yeah, with his yeah. button, but that's just like straight vocal prowess. <laughs> he's a bit cheeky, isn't he, old Rush? Well. Well. <laughs> well. Rush, are you excited for the fact that we're getting a full, like, I don't want to say the word I was want to say, but a full aesthetically pleasing beard and hair trim for you tomorrow? Oh, yes, I'm excited. It has been a while. Last yeah. time I cut my hair, I cut it myself. It went better than expected, to be honest. <laughs> That's not a sentence uh, I Russia. ever want to hear. Do you know how you want to get your hair cut? Uh, I, nev I don't know any of the, the cool, hip terminology. I usually just go in and say, can you fix it? And okay. they usually how do a good job. How would you feel, Rush, genuine question, how would you feel about maybe making like a little, you know, you go on like a men's haircut image search and okay. you just put like three or four pictures of pe men you think's hair looks good and then the, the barber man will ch tell you uh, which one works yes. for you. I mean, people have said sometimes I look like Chris Pat Pratt, like kind of Let's an ugly Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt. So if I get a picture of him, maybe yeah, I can get the Yeah, you've got the beard look. and the, the rustic charm. Oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's, Chris yeah. Pratt looks good in a flannel. He does. He damn, damn right, he does. Damn right, he does. <laughs> uh, so I feel like we can work this out. We're going to have Rush first cab off the rank as well tomorrow, Alex. We'll put him in the chair first. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Uh, he's got places to be after, so we need to let yep. him go after yep. he's, uh, he's had his cup. Got and things to do. Well, he's got some danger zone to play. So, and bedtime is normally not far after that. So. By the way, that late. bump thing you did, yeah, was it last night you did that, Rush? I uh, know, that one, I that was featured in another one of my videos, but I thought oh, it deserved a bit more attention, it so I just did. put it out. Yeah, dude, cool I one. really enjoyed that. For anyone that missed it, and uh, just while we're filling Where time in this that? match pause, that's there... Rush Lee's what, Twitter. It's over at Rush, Rush Lee, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Lauren actually retweeted it. You can check that out for additional context. Ha, 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 ha. But yes, very, very, very nice little surf play with the bump mines in the exosuit on danger zone to Rocco, you'll see a red barrel kill and what's commonly referred to as a Goomba. You can uh, check out all the tips on how to do that yourself if you uh, just go into YouTube and type Danger Zone Mobility Pack Dash Pro Tips. And that one is brought to you by, by Rushley12345. But we're back underway. The internet issues have been solved as the freeze time now ticks on down. It looks like we will just see Navi going for the partial investment, Flamey investing into a Deagle, Kevlar for electronic with a P250 and a smoke. Perfecto has 4.5. So, Alex, that Sanji reference, he is probably going to be dropping Simple and AWP in the next round as Simple gets a P250, one for Boomage as well. And poor Perfecto will just be keeping that silenced USP. When you just a bank for Simple? Yeah, well, look, I'll be a bank for Simple. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, look. I just want to be in the server to see him doing it in eyes. Yeah, man, I'd be banking every day. Watch every round just so you can see him in full first person perspective. There's a world oh, where they. Low. Yeah, yeah we, we looked for this aggression, Five, didn't we? Four. Three. Okay, that was his chance. Squandered. It was only a P250, so there was nothing to get too remiss about. Risk of contamination in this squeaky zone. See if uh, Boomich has got anything toxic to deliver. Only a P250 certainly doesn't sound like it's got much in store for us. But to the lay of the land, for those of you that have tuned in and see that the fact that Na'Vi are one away from being your... European champions of ESL Pro League Season 12. Doesn't mean that Astralis have lost two maps. It is simply the advantage from the upper bracket. Map two here already looking to be a very close affair. Clean, flamey does manage to behead one of those AKs. Any frag they find here is a victory in itself. Glaive being low does put him in a dangerous area, but he's played it very well to one, protect the rifle and two, ensure his safety. So it was clean enough. Yes, they did lose Magisk, but they can repurchase. He'll be fine. We look to the other side now. We look to see if that AWP does come through. Perfecto does drop it forward. We do now have that in play. So something to note here is Australians have been dangerous in a lot of these rounds, even ones that Navi have clawed on back and had those retakes with. So Australia's getting bomb site control and getting the bomb down is something that has happened in a bunch of rounds so far. I really want to see if, uh, if Navi want to put a stop to all the territory they're getting. And simple yeah. up close towards Yard in credit, card, in credit card with the AWP. It doesn't look like they'll be changing it up too much. Astralis flawless gap. Yeah, yeah. And found great spray control from Electronic Adjusted. It looked a little high. And he is low. To eight HP. Four on five then. Replicating that of the score. 
Interesting setup they've gone for here. So towards lower is Boomich with the Famous. Electronics about to go down. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. 8 HP and he's done it. <laughs> Look how much damage he just did to Glaive. Glaive's on two. Yeah, I can't believe he didn't actually convert after the second engagement and finding more damage. Flamey's thigh has been spotted. He'll drop his smoke. Flamey's got to be a little bit careful. He could be the gateway to a couple of problems here. So simple, of course, um, starts walking to lobby with the AWP. Um, He's got the timing on it's this. It's nice to be simple, isn't it? When you have the confidence and the read of the game to understand this timing so well. He's going to be posted up here. If he decides to look further, he's going to be in a very good position, Given and he does. Flamey's fallen all the way back to hell, so low sight for Boomich. He's got a lot to do. They have a smoke for Decon, a smoke for uh, Molotov for window side. Oh, if, he, if he bides his time here, I can sense some playmaking potential. s -Attack not looking. Perfect. Now they're hunting for him. 25 seconds. If he can rock the clock. Oh, we can even do better than that. He'll get two. Dupree and Glaive make it wow. just Dupree as it is a fantastic shot. Leaping down. Simple connects and he wants more by the door. And bye bye Dupree. Well, clean stuff there from Na'Vi in the end, as it will be two players surviving. Diffuse will come on through, but once again, Astral's able to continue adding extra cash towards the bank. A buy for them, no dramas whatsoever, as the scores are tied up now at 5-5. Five, five. And what you want to be limiting to Astralis to, historically on a map like Nuke, is uh, six rounds or less. Now, the T side of Astralis is something that they're used to starting on, because it has been their map choice over these last couple of years. And with that, they're very, very comfortable being on the T side. They're the ones who started showing the rest of the world that the map can actually be played very proficiently if the utility is used mm. in the ways that we see them limping on out with again. Is it safe to say that Na'Vi are going to be needing a bit of a streak here to make a competitive half out of this? I, I think they're going to need at, at least eight. Uh, I think eight or nine would be great for them. And yeah, well, aggressive play this time. What's Electronic up to? He's actually going to confirm That's any smooth. action towards Secret. That smoke blocks them out unless they want to gray screen it. Do I want to call his bluff? And they do. Shadow advantage. That's a big frag to find. And Flamey's pushed ahead of the smoke ramp. Na'Vi taking firm control of round 11. Oh, and look at this. Love Simple's taking lane. his spot. Yeah, look at this. They're being way more proactive. Not to the extent we expected maybe towards T-Red, but in multiple ways, playing just on the cusp of those smokes, leaving these three with so little territory. They, they'd have to retake towards radio and towards ramp if they dare. And obviously, you have Simple on the other side with the AWP. So it's going to be hard to push him off the angle. The flashy sticks it, but he does take the blind off the back. Molly goes in, smoke goes up, but it's going to be have Flamey finding the kill. Boomich should be set up for success. He is. It's just Esetag with nowhere on the map to go. Oh, this one's fallen away very quickly. A one on five. I'd like to see it. So would Esetag. Boomich, however, seems to disagree. Okay, so another round on the board for Na'Vi now. They're up to six. Money situation for Astralis at least warrants a discussion as Dupree and Device have enough to buy. Galils could come on through for the other three or upgraded pistols. And this is how things kicked on off. Now that smoke that actually has dropped on down, I believe was a T-side smoke. I'm just going back to double check it. It was. So by uh, uh, dropping an aggressive smoke over towards T-Red, Na'Vi in that round fumbled the smoke wall of Astralis, and Electronic was actually able to use their own smoke against them there. The timeout will be taken. Dupree still having a fantastic game. 13 kills for him, 101 points of ADR. On the other side of things, Simple with 162. Is that, is that right? I don't know I don't if that's really right. I really doubt it was Simple, to be uh, fair, but it is a large number. And only eight kills. Yeah, uh, so someone's been stealing. Maybe because he was the one with the uh, issues earlier that... My freaked out a bit. Yeah, maybe Might it's... Might just be his ADR since he's returned. Potentially as well, yeah. So so we'll try and get those bugs out of the system for you. But as we get back underway, it will be the buy. So the investment coming through from Astralis. They've kept residual cash on Dupree and Device. Same with... S Actually, they've all kept a little bit of money. So they've limped in here with... It's not a half purchase, but it's, uh, let's say, a three-quarters purchase. Still a dangerous round for Na'Vi. They haven't built a bank on their CT side just yet. Early nade damage just trickles as the tag down to 65 with a bullet. And a few more. Boomage. Just persistently spraying into oh. the smoke and Electronic does the same. That's a nasty way to start off a force ball. Well, I shouldn't really describe it as such. They've maintained 2k. We'll have 2.9 into the next, so AKs are back out. But still, this was an investment and it has fallen flat. 
Yeah, so what they were doing with that purchase was lining up all of their money. As you take a look over there to the bottom right-hand side of your screen, you can see everybody with roughly, you know, let's say 4.3, right? Let's, let's just go that as the ballpark figure as an average. I can't do maths quick enough or even correctly enough to work out. that out. So they just want to make sure that they have enough to get the AKs out with the utility behind it going into the following round, but they could still remain threatening. And why do they want to remain threatening? Well, if they had kept Na'Vi honest and were able to pick up a couple of kills, they can stop that bank I was talking about on the CT side from starting to swell. For round 13, here we go. Protocol utility, Molotov towards Hart and Squeaky. Aggressive smoke from Yard from Electronic again, and he's going to tuck on into that same position. This time round, a lot more Astralis members to deal with. Yeah, Simple's definitely paying a lot more attention towards here as well. But it's Electronic to still kick things off. He can't quite back away from this yet. Now with the Molly coming in, he's got to have to pray that spread doesn't go too far, but he's, he's going to be in right. danger. Spammed out, still alive. And the flash is good. That should be a clear, and it is. They have obviously lost Magus during this, but a 4v4 with secret control is better than they've had in the last couple. That's for sure. Oh dear, this duel could be everything. Boomish doesn't clearing. They walk past each other. Huge gap right now. Oh, he's been noted. If they go vent to oh, top. Yeah, that's what exactly what Boomish is thinking too. Oh, and Essatag turns around, squanders the plan, but the frag found. Three on three. Maybe Glaive fancies his chances up this vent. It's a very unfortunate or rather unfavorable fight on the Z axis for the peaking. Well, Flamey was stuck at clock there. He's in trouble. Oh no, this gets awkward fast. Two targets. Oh, oh. great shot, the precision. That's the turret from Flamey. Double kill round one, thanks to the rifling prowess of Flame Dogger. Okay, 25. I don't think Glaive's got much more to say about this one. He's going to give it a good go. Flamey oh. says no. Eight wow. rounds. You said it was the magic number. Now found. And they have strung together four. Quite the slew. Yeah, and this is the thing with Na'Vi is that Flamey was that inconsistent third star. We always see glimpses. Oh, Flamey's aim, it's so good. You put him in a position like Ramp, like he used to play B on Cobblestone, for example, all those years ago, and he'd oh. net you a multi-kill. And in this fashion, with this precise aim, we know that he can be a potent individual. It's just not consistent. He's on the team for a reason, Chad. But that's the thing. If they can get consistent Flamey alongside of Electronic and Simple, well, then Na'Vi, right, they become that team who we're all scared of. And Astralis should be scared of. Let's not forget, Na'Vi have not lost to Astralis in a best of three this year. This is one of the few chances they're going to have. It's a grand final, and it seems that Na'Vi are following the trend. Oh, Flamey on it again, in between the two. Dupree unawares, he could have been there, and Flamey still going to keep things going. Eventually will fall to Glaive, but... I'm spotted as well. now, Simple's on the case, feeling emboldened almost. Back in on this. Not too scared of those pistols. Yeah, he's lost Magisk as well. That makes things even harder for the Danes. Not even going to get the bomb down. He was so ready for the flank. Now grouped up. S attack, only a tech nine. Good shots onto Electronic, but down to 34. Should be meeting the Deagle. And does. Nine, maybe even the 10th as well. You can see Astralis. They're going to have one more bite of the cherry. Hey, Rush, you just want to quickly fly us to lower. Or maybe MC can do it and show the clock uh, above the silo just there. I think there used to be a clock. Is the clock it's gone? Not there anymore. They removed the clock. Yeah, oh, I don't man. see one, buddy, unfortunately. They the clock. I guess I can't call it clock anymore. You can. I guess not. Damn. What do we call it now? I don't know where you're referencing. Just there. Literally there used to be a the clock silo. on the wall. Okay. Oh, dear. Well, back we go. Rifles out. Lots of util outside early. Oh, electronics not wanting to fight this. Just staying over towards main. Gap again. Oh, that time the gap's filled by Magisk and that rifle. Electronic doesn't get to do the spam, doesn't get to do the damage, and they get again back down towards Secret. No but converting home. this to a plant has evaded them. But you're right, no one was there to stop it this time. Where's the CT utility? They just have flashes. A minute 20 left on the round, and it's only flashes for Na'Vi to work with? Yeah, double mollies. You really do not have a chance of retaking until that flame subsides. Simple's going to give it a good go now. More utility dropped. This is getting awkward. Boomish still hasn't descended the vents. Oh, and that's okay. a shot from Simple. Glaive's head visible, only temporarily. And Boomish catching Magisk has won the vent fight. Suddenly, Na'Vi got a good shot at this. Glaive squandered his shots. He's only got 10 in the clip. Perfecto does best him. Only Boomich. A smoke is a big part of this plan. If he could get onto it, there's a chance. Device denies a 9-6 half. And that only prepares us for what could very well be the final half of play.
the first half to get Nuke started. Now, this is Astralis' domain. They managed to post six on the attack, now heading into the favoured side that is Defence. Magis, Glaive, Dupree, Esetag and Device, the five names selected from the seven-man roster. Got six in there. Sonic's not going to be stepping into the server anytime soon. And Zipex still on that bench as well. Still. Wow, those odds. Oh, shit. FD. All right. See what we got to start off this pistol. Simple down. That's quite the scalp. Dupree wants to take Push space. It. Yeah, he could find Flamey here. Wow, that is so brave. So brazen. And he's managed to not only find the frag, he's found the bomb. Oh. <laughs> he's also found his grave. Perfecto trying to what? turn oh. Wait, they're, what? they're still pushing. What? And Perfecto's not surrounded. This is baffling. Is this deathmatch? Did we go in around too early? No, but boom, it's around oh the back. Oh, my God. This oh, is madness. Geez. Okay, Astralis had a lead. The bodies. But look at that. Lobby crunch in the pistol, and it goes Na'Vi's way. I thought that was Astralis' round any day of the week, Chad. Yeah, it felt like it should have been. Perfecto had two massive kills there. I have to put flank. that on Perfecto. Look at this. Finds one, then has the ability to pivot around and find the ramp push as well. Now, this is coming into the Glock's territory. At range, the USPs have advantage, but I think after they found that opening onto Simple, they thought they could really tighten that noose. And that is a huge one to pull out of the bag right here. Just one map. Oh, why? And Na'Vi have taken this. So 10-6 up. That's a fumble right here from Astralis. Well, Boomich is going to be kicking himself. He didn't manage to at least punish with some damage there. Glaive caught in the open from the silo position. Electronics going for the walkabout. 5-7 favors him. Oh, this is scary. Ouch. Wow. Electronic just going to power through secret. That's all his now. Dupree having to respond accordingly. No nade, no smoke to buy time. He's just going to walk into the crosshairs and good dink. He's done well to inflict damage. Unfortunately, that's not going to translate into a round win. You need the lethality. Ooh, a little smoke tutorial from Flame Dogger. Simple as that. There's your lockers. Jump throw. He makes that look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you consider how many different smokes, flashes, nades, and molotovs these guys keep in their, ha their head at any given moment. It is absolutely insane. That's just a database 
of nades constantly trickling through. Which one is it? What pixel? Oh, talking of pixels, device got a good go there. No one's lower right now for Astralis. So at this point, it, it seems like one of these situations where they will hold on to the weapons they've invested into round 17 with, as we can now see Na'Vi clearing out towards the lower site, crossing their T's, dotting their eyes, making sure that nobody's hiding. Nice <laughs> attack. Uh, he's, he's lining up a, a wall bang through the floor here, but the bomb is going to be planted oh, towards the railing side of things. That's the tag. Heard the plant, didn't spam. And now they're just going to be netting whoever they can from Na'Vi. Simple's going to be greeted with an MP9 in the face here. Hello. And now Magus, if he drops, the, if he picks up this Deagle, oh, he can't because Simple had an MP9, so. Ooh. Ooh. It's electronic here, but wow. First bullet accuracy from electronic is strong. Is that what Simple did there? So he dropped the pistol and then went in with the MP9? Because there's something left on the floor and he had another gun. So yeah, he, he's actually made sure that he wasn't going to be giving away anything extra. I'm pretty sure that's what just unfolded. Yeah, I mean, especially considering the economical implications of that. Yeah. Deagle could have been thrown around. That's why you were starting that dialogue. Yeah, I was getting exactly to that. But and the nuance it, is gone. The, the guns on the ground kind of confused me a little bit there. So if they're thinking that far ahead, now V up to 11 now, I see no reason they shouldn't be locking this one down with 16. Turned it up to 11, I think. Yeah, that's some uh, forethought right there is back underway 12's a gimme i can't believe it they're yeah. getting 12 practically for free well let's stick with dupree because maybe we'll make some noise here well let's do this as a as a trio rush you can tune in as well i want the uh orchestra of zeus noises if this kill comes in it is the grand final after all ladies and gentlemen one of the deagles is out two more standing device of magisk is he fully charged that i left it Charging on his bedside he table has, last yeah. night. You so, want to make sure overnight. Yeah, a full overnight charge for the Zeus. Doesn't have the one plus battery, so um, yeah. it's like you know, it's what like those plug-in USB fans. You really have to make sure it's got the juice. Okay, come on, come on, Dupree. They're keeping him arm's length, maintaining social distance through, throughout round 18. <laughs> really not letting any. Issues potentially arise, are they? Uh, very patient in play. Dupree not giving a single go. option. Come on. No Come on. Please. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to get excited. You can try. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Dupree. You guys are insatiable. Fly in. Fly in. Let's do it, Dupree. See if you win Find these. <laughs> Flying through the sky with the Zeus. Come on, Dupree. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, it doesn't yes. work from here. This is yeah, too no, far. No, he's going to do the wait, strafe. Wait, do the str wait. Yes. The surf. Yes. Surf. No. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay. Well, that was the end of the Dupree Zeus adventure chapter. Ah! Yeah, that's what it could have sounded like. Uh, that's Any Chad excuses, Birchall yeah. if you're interested in finding more. He's got an audio book of that, I believe. On the yeah. It's just that. Yeah. You know, different sounds for different squeals. days of the week. Mm, yeah. mm. Um, obviously, it sounds different on the T side as it does to the CT side. Of course. Right. Fly round coming in. This is a big one. 12 rounds now sitting tonight with that first map advantage coming through the upper upper bracket of things. This could be all but over. This is some fast outside smoke they're lining up. Look at that. Full line deployed at 143. He's already across. That's very oh, fast. Dear. They are not pulling punches. Navi, a real threat. Glaive. Doesn't have to be worried about Boomich's vent presence. Dupree's looking to do it all here. He's got Glaive in tow. This is a really risky fight. A very important one. Dupree finds it all. A massacre in the low side. Oh. Triple kill from Dupree, but Simple Still and going. Flamey, they ain't done yet. Okay, while well, Simple's been dealt with, it's on to Flamey. Okay, Not removes the bite. No, he doesn't. S attack had to just wait as his teammates were slaughtered. Oh, nope. Eesh. They're poor. That's real. Not not like the biggest omission, but considering that Na'Vi have everything they desire, device going down to Flamey does have ramifications into the next. That was super quick on towards that lower side of things, and the rotation uh, from Stralis was even better. Ah, uh, damn it. Really nice shooting from Dupree regardless, and this is s -Tag just saving the round. There's a very real possibility of a clutch there. Yeah, had the, he not been there? The fact that they had already killed two players lower, and then they kill Device up towards ramp, there's no way S that, that's being cleared. S attack did a fantastic job, and Device wants to get in the thick of things here. I like it. Magis does too. He's caught flamey. He hasn't. Oh. oh. He's not shown. I love that from Device. So, so patient, but simple. He's going to put him... 
put him right to bed. Wait, yeah. simple and perfecto. Where is perfecto? Oh, I thought it was a freebie. I thought he had that. He's still game on, though. He's hunting, and he will be found. <laughs> okay. This should be eight Deep on the board. Breaths, everybody. Yeah, the last couple of rounds have been uh, quite the quick pace. Perfecto with a nice shot. Needs one more to reach the double digits and, well, find 10 kills like the remainder of his teammates. But he goes down to Glaive, who has that AWP. So Simple's gifted that one over. That'll be given back to Device. And on oh, the gun rounds going forward, Australia's going to be looking more and more deadly. Na'Vi probably taking one of these partial investments with the money sitting around that 3K mark, two and a half. They get the $2,400 loss bonus in that next round, so they can invest a little bit, and Electronic is probably the blueprint for the remainder of his teammates. We'll be buying on in similar fashion. Perfecto, bunch of nades, P250. P250 is well for Flamey and Boomich. Simple onto the Deagle. He's invested a little bit more. Head armor as well as a molly and two flashes. Now, if Australis can deal with this one, now we're cooking. It's game on, but they need to deal with this one, and that's a great start from Glaive. Just need to not get overwhelmed. Need to ensure they keep them nice and far back. Don't let these pistols get too scary. Maybe just in a little bit of bother because they can now sit down the vents. Simple's just found Dupree. When things get a little unnerving, but Boomich is desperate to get that bomb to place, but comfortably controlled by Essie is just simple, and the angles were controlled. Glaive, a uh, bit of a cleanup crew right there, making sure that Magus was protected over towards the site. And now, well, this is the problem. Electronic and Simple, they invested, and maybe they invested a little bit too much, as we can see here. They're going to have to buy on back in with less than ideal weaponry. Simple onto the Deagle, Electronic with the Galil, Flamey with a Galil as well, mm. Boomich with an AK, and Perfecto with one for himself. So this buy is not great for Na'Vi. Astralis are in a fantastic position to post 10. Standard defense here. We haven't seen an all-in towards ramp yet. Nessa Tag has had a very quiet game. I think he's got, what, seven, eight frags? Yeah, okay. So, be interested to know whether or not that's on Na'Vi's checklist. It's Perfecto that's flirting with the idea. He doesn't have a close road header right now. He's on an island. The closest port of call will most likely be Glaive. And now they're thinking better of this. So Device will actually be the rotator. He's coming, but he might be late. This tag has to hold this off. He has to do something. A little bit of time board is very valuable, but he has to give up ramp control, which opens up problems for the likes of Glaive. They can't get there anymore. The territory garnered by the T's, but still looking for more opportunities. Device fell away from T-Red, but he was there before. Pre's also gone lower, so their top defense is now a little bit weaker and ramp is open. Oh, it's very classic Navi. If they take ramp, go back to lobby and hit top side. Leaving electronic to late arrive from mini. Feels that way. Oh, that's a great time smoke there. Time is running out now. Navi need to make a decision. Seconds. I mean, they've got to make a choice. It might just be ramp to lower. They have two smokes, three smokes to work with here. You can smoke decon windows and doors and then try and go for a plant. As we can see on the radar, both players from Australia are tucked in towards that window side. Time now a problem, 20 seconds. Both of them Three. up here. Yeah, Estag both waiting in the control room. Estag gonna get faced. Uh oh, okay. Dupree's trying to keep control of this, but he's down to five HP. That's a bomb plant now. Electronic has snuck down, but device is on his tail. Perfecto finding an important frag, but this flank it was gonna equalize. Oh. That's the end of that. Three on three. Does reveal device is closing in, and that's an AWP as well. Switches to the Galil. Hiding behind the door. The element of surprise. Nice little magic trick from Simple. Should put the 13th on the board, Glaive to clutch, but he's really wrapped up. Three targets, Boomich on the ramp, the first fight. God, he desperately wanted Boomich to peek and he's just giving him nothing. Time is dwindling and I think we know this is Na'Vi's. The peek comes out, he gets one, hits the turn. Oh. The Perfecto controls in the end, four for Perfecto that round. That damage right there was really good stuff though from Glaive. He's keeping Na'Vi honest, and even though they are on the T side, weapons do cost just a little bit less utility. Uh, in the size of the Molotov, not as expensive. That means that Damn, Flame yeah. and, yeah, and Boomich are both low on cash. Electronic will be able to drop across an AK. Perfecto and Simple can buy their own, but their money's not looking flush. Whereas on the other side of things for Astralis, we're now looking at their buy. Device back into the AWP. As the tag yet to purchase, there it is, M4A4. And it's just Dupree down to that MP9. No diffuse kit on the board right now for Astralis and not enough money to purchase one on in. Yikes. If we get to a post-plant situation, time is of the essence for Astralis. 
Looks like decisions have been made for Na'Vi. Mac 10 coming out for Boomich. Everyone else buying on through. Where's Boomich spawned for right now? Looks like he's towards the middle of the pack there with the bomb on his back. May have been expecting something a little bit faster, maybe a top play using that Mac 10 to its full advantage. But both teams with very comparable buys right now going into round 23. No early smokes deployed from Na'Vi. Looks like device is over towards ramp with the AWP. Might be the first time we see device truly tested here. As tag, of course, did what he could before, but had to fall back, had that passive hold from control room. Flash to follow, device now pressured again. Also a little deeper, Boomich and Perfecto looking to test this. Really good smoke. Gonna have to respect it, especially considering on the jump across, you may have spotted that it was an AWP in his grasp based on stance. Outside smokes are coming in late. It's not even the, the default set. Boomich, not an easy smoke to throw there, but he does deploy it all the same. Lock has smoked off. Out for device, though. He does get clocked by Electronic, the high flash indicating that he's Ooh. still trying oh. to get across. Not going to be the hero. Glaive taking a good bit of damage there, a good bit of flak. Five on four, though. Looking good for Astralis. They're in all the right places. So are the bullets from Esatagi. Tags perfecto. Boomich has only got the MAC-10. Oh, this is a lockdown. Astralis looking to seal it, make it a tenth. Simple, just playing around this smoke, hoping to catch Device, but with the low HP, it's not to be. Three kills from Device there on that ramp position. Okay, well now I think it will have to be that save coming on through from Na'Vi. They have 2,400 as the loss bonus going into the next round. So if they eco here, they'll be able to buy into the next. And that will give Astralis the 11th. But Device being so mobile with this AWP, this is one of the fantastic features of being an AWPer on the CT side of Nuke. He's able to come on over, help out his ramp buddy, help towards Yard, pop up Lutter and help top site and instrumental as, uh, look at this, we have look over in the goons. hotel, it is the Goonies and Trey Stunner-Saranthus. Keyboard on the pillow. lap as oh. well. Oh, nice. Respect the gaming. Laptop games. I used to be a keyboard on lap person. Yeah, Couldn't exactly. Your, a big enough desk. The desk was a square. Yep, that's the one. <clears throat> Pretended I did it because cool Russian Quake yes. players did uh, it. Yes, cooler or whoever it might have been. Yeah, yeah. Secretly, just poor. <laughs> Somewhat like Na'Vi in this round. Uh, Deagle, two Deagles and one P250. It's very difficult to see much coming out of this unless Simple and Electronic hit some bangers. And I say those two names and normally bangers are expected, but Simple's <laughs> already down to 18. Yeah. Uh, you can see the fear that that puts in the players towards Yard, but Esetag's greeted with a couple of easy ones. Freebies onto Boomich and Perfecto. Deagle Bullet rings on through. And Simple, he's just being toyed with right now. Yeah. I, I actually really like the idea as well of Esetag for the last two rounds now, having quite good impact. See him maybe get off the starting block, shake off a little bit of that maybe... Um, no, I don't want to say rust, but just kind of feel the game out a little bit more. And especially if we do end up going to train, you'd love to have him on form for the Astralis boys. Dupree, overwhelmed by Electronic in the end, so that is a gun gone. Let's see if Simple can do anything, even operating on that very low HP. <laughs> well, that was not uh, the side I'm sure Simple wanted. <laughs> He peered around the corner, sees a weird-looking double stack, and there goes Electronic. A weird-looking so, double stack. It was a bit strange, wasn't it? <laughs> they were standing next to each other on silos, on rafters, doing everything you like, and now getting underway for round 25. The gun should come back on out. Simple's investment into the Deagle will mean, once again, his buy not going to be fantastic, and I think they've actually dropped him an AK, so Perfecto will get the Galil. Oh, dearie me. As uh, the buy will be looking potent, Utility decent. CT's now Astralis really starting to mount. Bit of a comeback here. 13 to 11. Squeaky door naded open. Flash on through. Over towards lobby as all five members are geared on up. It might be a top hit. Boomich, 5 HP. Yeah, he's finished off. Electronics own flames do bring him down. Trying to level the odds is Glaive. It's Dupree as well to be tested on the side. Perfecto jiggling, trying to keep his aim busy as they push on the other side, but Dupree equipped, ready. 21 frags, the star of the show for Astralis. And they're sent packing another Astralis defense success. How did he deal with that much pressure being poured in? I guess being able to isolate one, I think it was Simple who went for that little bit of a swing around was truly helpful, but Electronic's still hanging around. Now he is super low HP, but he's still a threat. But I'm looking at Perfecto. 
Where can he find the space in this? Dupree's already passed the test in one Kill. essence, but he fails it this time around. Perfecto now opens things up. Glaive denies it, and Glaive controls it. The bomb being left over by Squeaky in the end is Device not going to lose the AWP either. Money's starting to build for the CT side. Yeah, so 2,900 loss burners coming into this round, round right here for Na'Vi, meaning it will just have to be another partial investment. But 3,400 in the next. And there's Boomich going into Electronics Molotov and getting taken on down. But he was the space maker for the stars, and well, they were able to trade off of it. Whoa. That's where it stopped. Glaive, very, very safe pair of hands with these last two kills because if he's gone down, it would have become a 1v1 situation with Device on the AWP, and for Perfecto, that becomes winnable. So this partial investment, again, from Na'Vi. It always just looks like they're going for picks, and if they find a pick, then they can snowball, take some territory, and hopefully more kills fall in their favor. There's no clear intention instead of, oh, let's do like a top piece, or let's try and overwhelm Dupree on a heart. That's worked. It has. It certainly gets them some... Control, but that's the farm and that's the double. And if the tank has controlled this round, it could have spiraled, but by being in the vents for that drop, he had a distinct advantage, and that advantage converted by Glaive. We're into the real nitty gritty here. Here we go. Round 27, we're 13 apiece after a very strong start into the second half. Na'Vi, 9-6 on the half. But Astralis on the defense, definitely their better heart side of this map. It's their map pick. It's been clean the last four rounds. They've uh, managed to only lose a total of six players in the last four rounds on the Astralis side of things, and three of those rounds where they had four survive. Yeah, but don't let that slew of rounds let you or lead to you letting Na'Vi's T-side prowess slip your mind. We know how good that first map looked. But Electronic lost again. Boomich trades. Very standard stuff to get this party started. Glaive getting the one and done. Perfecto patrolling the smoke. This is Ballsy with the gap, and he's found Dupree. What a scalp to take. Esetag doesn't want to reveal his location, hasn't sprayed to try and finish the job. He can hear him, though. And oh! Perfecto's a hero for Na'Vi. After a slew of CT rounds, he's found two entries onto two of the hardest hitters of Astralis. Magisk still kicking, though. Simple has the bomb. They need to make up their minds, and Perfecto is still going. Three kills, finally. Put down by Device. Winnable. Very much so. Device, though, looking for that AK, looking for something more. Hit probably as well. There's one Valuable. just to his left. Yeah, that goes in towards the kitty of everything he's building. Has to reload. There's only five bullets. Now, neither of them are watching this for now, but there's going to be a time limit that takes in Simple now. Very aware of the possibility. First port of call. Only five bullets. Yeah, you can make that work. It's Device we're talking about. That's a problem, though. They'll swing on the util. And Simple punishes, so Perfecto, what a performance. You were talking about him as a name to watch, a bit of a sleeper cell. And Na'Vi have come alive, as has Perfecto. Starting to really get into his groove in that Na'Vi jersey. Look at the plays he's making. That's Dupree, a predictable fight, but a well handled. Up, and the second is impressive as well. Oh. 12 HP does that. Best then attacks to be kicking himself. This as well. Damn, I mean, catch that live. Great shots and look at the fan cams. My God, there's a lot of Na'Vi fans and I'm not surprised. A very easy team to be a fan of, and the Counter-Strike as well. If Astralis lose this, they're out of money, yeah. Navi are up to 15 rounds. Their loss bonus is in the bin. Oh, Glaive, now is the time to be brave. Hold your nerve, there's so many around you. Perfecto to the left, Electronic to the right. He has to get this just right. The oh, flash. the Flash, Team he's Flash! Blind. He's blind, but he sees Perfecto, but he's got on stand. Simple's out there, no, it's Boomage who gets him down. But we've already had Electronic slip through towards Secret. Dupree seems aware down towards lower. Simple is actually further back this time around. Now yard control yet to find its final destination. Device certainly now hyper aware of the possibility of pressure. A lot of utility left for Na'Vi now, as we see Flamey setting up a smoke towards the locker room. It's the skybox, trickles on down. Lands perfectly in front of those windows. Looks like their intention is back over towards lobby, as they will just be leaving electronic down secret. Boomich is regrouped with Simple and Flamey. So in a dream world, is electronic taking contact first, or is this a late arrival from him? Leave him where he is, get this ramp pressure first, and then he can start the squeeze. Boomich is straight. burning. He's going to have to go. One HP, Boomich, yeah. But it looks a bit fakey now. The incendiary, though, did separate them, and Electronic caught by Dupree just on the 
Perfect. Stairs hold. 15 seconds. Yeah, this one's just going to peter out into nothingness. Be a save, even. I have to be. Push the money, yeah. What they got? 2,900 lost bonus? Yeah, so it's not going to be the best for Perfecto, but everybody else will be sitting all right for cash. Boomich and Electronic will be able to buy Perfecto down to just 3k. Flamey and Simple will need to use their residual cash with the without the loss bonus to invest into utility here. But as we hit 14-14, the money for both teams is on a knife edge. Astralis have the $1,400 loss bonus. The fact that they kept four players alive in this round right here is instrumental if we do end up having a close one right now. You can see a little bit of extra cash for Dupree, Magus, and Esatag as we leave spawn. Boomish has opted for the Deagle, so Perfecto's been gifted that AK. The in-game leader having some faith in the newest edition right here, and he needs to come up big over towards ramp initially, and it looks like they're doing early pressure. Yeah, so tank's got a knee, oh. and that's a good chance. He's ahead of the incendiary, drops off. Device has rotated in, but the Molotov will force him back. Space, ramp is theirs. That's a big start. Looking to regain control with the flashbang. No one willing to push. The Molly still burns. Simple joining the party here in ramp. Now then, this is when Na'Vi have to make a decision. Oh, the boost. This is going to be filthy. You can park him there. You can watch so much from this position. He's not tucked in passively towards the box. If they try and come out and take space back from ladder base, or if they try and poke their head up ramp, Simple will send them back to where they came. Lurk smoke out hut now. That's going to keep Dupree honest. Cannot push, cannot play for info. And a squeaky smoke in exchange. So they've negated one another right now. Smoke and squeaky both smoked. They should just go ramp right now with this. Look at the utility left. So two smokes and a Molotov. We've seen teams make lower plays work with less. As for Tag and Magist, though, they're already set up. This will not be an easy ramp take. They've set up in a nice divert, div divided. That's the word I'm looking for. Crossfire. Now, throwing out a smoke at the 32nd mark. We know that's the magic number. They're going to have to either deny this or walk through it. And that's what Perfecto is doing. Nesetag holding the smoke push, and he's already found one. Now it's time for Magis to do what he can do on the flash. There it is, but Flamey gets it all the same. One for one with Magisk after finding the initial contact. Bomb needs to go down. Simple and Boomich to clutch. He's planting safe from Decon, and oh, wow, Dupree winning all the jewels. He's going to have to close this. the door. He hasn't got the time, hasn't got the health. And now... It is going to be map point for Astralis, and they've only got 3.4 on the low end, 4.4 on the high. Na'Vi playing for overtime here on Astralis's map pick. Looking a bit shaky on that T side. It's been great from the defense. Dupree on that low side rotate. He consistently finds the multi kills necessary. Holding on to that utility right there from Astralis was key. That smoke denying one of the access points towards the lower bomb site. Full buy is going to come on out. Orb still for device. Back 10 for Perfecto. Boomich with a tech 9. Let's try and let's win this. We go on to map number 3. We'll be trained. Ooh, fast flash. Dupree's blind. Sprays in wildly. Sees nothing. Does cause a death, but there comes some more flame. He's just got Glaive. We're into a 2v3 and s attacks. Oh my Whoa. god, this is mayhem. This could be OT. Oh, Device wow. a 1v2, AWP and a Deagle. Na'Vi's chaos. They just managed to create it right into the final round of regulation. Device has a chance in the one versus 2 Patrolling now. X-ray off and finds another. Completely left sleeping. 16 bullets in the AK. Simple. In the one-on-one, -on -one and Device is ready! He does it! What a clutch! Finds the header simple, and that's going to get the Copenhagen boys a little louder. Astralis are taking us to another map of play.